Hello, SharePoint community. Uh, in this video tutorial, I would like to share my technique on how to search programmatically uh, through Microsoft 365 content, specifically how to make calls to Microsoft Graph search API, how to use PowerShell model Microsoft.graph and how to search in SharePoint with PNP PowerShell model. And all of that would be in two flavors. Uh, search on behalf of currently authenticated user and unattended search. In other words, search with daemon, also called service applications. Uh, but let me start from uh, graph search API. And for this, I would like to recommend to go to graph documentation. Uh, yeah, so definitely worth to visit and to go through. And also Microsoft Identity Platform documentation. Again, this kind of must for us, SharePoint administrators, developers, engineers, uh, to know that stuff. But in short, in short, uh, to be authenticated against Microsoft 365, we need an application. And to be authenticated as current user, we need application with delegated permissions. So if you don't have application, you need to go to portal.asia.com and from home page you would search for application registration you would select from here you would register new application if you are able to if you are not able to you should be able to request this application from your tenant admin but finally you would get an application and you would be an owner of this application and from here you would need to configure this application for delegated authentication and first you need to configure is authentication blade but i will not tell you how to configure this because that really depends on your platform on your application uh, Specifically for me, for example, I will be authenticated from under PowerShell code. So I, what I did is I added mobile and desktop application platform here and I selected this URL as a redirect URL to authenticate. And that's it basically for me. So uh, regarding authentication, but again, you would configure this depending on your specific on your specifics then uh, you can see certificates and secrets that's not needed for delegated application and what is needed is here you would go to api permissions and to search through content you need read access and you need delegated read access. So uh, be aware again if you are adding here delegated like sites dot read all permissions, that doesn't mean that your user will have access to all SharePoint sites, right? Because with delegated authentication, uh, effective user rights would be an intersection of his personal rights and uh, permissions configured in this application. So user will never have access to more than he is already have access to. Okay, so uh, you would configure a, a API uh, permissions with add permissions, you would select graph and then you would select delegated permissions, not application permissions, delegated permissions. And let me add one more permission if I want to search through 
exchange email, I would add mail here, mail read. This, this would allow me to search or to get access programmatically to my emails. So I'm adding these permissions to my list. But you can see that it says admin consent is required. Um, even if it's not required, I would recommend you to request admin consent from your tenant admin. If you are not able to provide, if you are not a tenant admin, right, you will not be able to provide this uh, consent to yourself. So you would need to request this consent from your tenant admin. So I already got uh, tenant admin consent for Teams channels. So I should be able to read through Teams chats. And to SharePoint, I need sites.read all permissions to search through my SharePoint content. This is default permission and this permission basically allows you to read your own profile. And this is what I also recommend you to get uh, because this API permissions allows you to get access to SharePoint with Graph API. And this permission allows you to get access to SharePoint through SharePoint API. So once you got API permissions configured and consented, you are good to go to search your SharePoint content. And what you would need is application ID and directory ID. So let me go to my partial code. And from here, you can see that I will need uh, msil.ps PowerShell module to be authenticated. So I already installed this model. And you can see that uh, I'm specifying client ID and tenant ID here. And I am getting token with get msl token command that is available from this msl.ps module so let me run it and there must be pop-up window yes here we go and uh, since it's uh, Authenticating on behalf of current user, I should provide my credentials. And surely I authenticated. Let me see, do I have a token? Uh, and surely I do have a token. And let me check. Yeah, so here I'm building headers. I will use headers to call Graph API later. And I can even validate my token with a call to my personal profile. So I'm getting my personal uh, profile information here. So let me run it. And I got basic information about myself. I authenticated on behalf of Miriam. And yeah, that's that means uh, that I authenticated well and I have access to get my personal profile. Now uh, let's do search. For search we need API URL like this. You can use beta URL or you can also use version one for production. And I am specifying here what I'm searching for. 
and here I'm specifying where I'm searching this information. And that's interesting. I'm specifying entity types. And for SharePoint, there are five kinds of entity types. Uh, drive item, list item, list, drive, and site. Drive means library. So if I'm specifying here entity types, drive items, that means any library content. Not list content, not site. Uh, yeah, not uh, library itself, but library content. Okay, and I would need to form a body. Uh, and simplest body would look like this. So let me run this piece of code. And this line basically calls graph API with headers I created earlier, uh, calls this URL with body I created uh, just now method would be post because I'm sending information and a content type would be application JSON. So let me run this line and I got result. You can explore a uh, result variable yourself, but here let me just uh, let me just get like how many results oh it's only two results um, let me see what are the results and details on every result out of two and you can see that i got um, document as first result and another document a second result let me validate what we just got from gui so that's um, the same user i'm authenticated with and from office.com let me search for the same And I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting two documents. Uh, and those two documents are the same. If I just run search for any scene, every scene, I would get folders, sites. And let me do the same in PowerShell. So I'll use all entity types and I will change my query to just test and let me run this I got results how many results it would be 23 and results uh, yeah so um, sites folders and so on uh, yeah basically that's it for the first part of this tutorial actually let me do one more demo uh, because since i got uh, permissions to search through teams chats let me search through Teams chats. I would select um, chat message as an entity type and I would look for test one to three keyword. Again, let me run the query. Okay, got results. 
So the uh, yeah, let me run the query. Yes, I got this. And details are here. So yeah, that's two messages, two Teams chat messages. And let me go to GUI again for the same user. And from Teams, I can search for the same keyword. Test one, two, three. And yes, I got two messages. So, yep, that's probably it for uh, this video uh, to be continued. See you later.